We are delighted to welcome back our next guest, and we swear it's not just because she's brought us four bottles of wine to try. Sarah Tracy is an expert in lifestyle, hospitality, and, of course, wine. And we really are happy to see her again. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having okay, me. Okay, Sarah, before we really get into it, I promised right. that I would find out, learn how to properly say the term for the wine expert that begins with an S. So enlighten the unenlightened. Somalier. 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 We were Not saying to be it right. with Somalian. Right. <laughs> I love Somalian. That might have there been the confusion <laughs> that was Maybe happening. Maybe the confusion there. Somalian. So we said four bottles, but you switched it up on That's us. That's right. I did switch it up a little bit. Um, what did you bring? We have um, two bottles of wine. Mm -hmm. We actually have a can of wine what? that we're going to be trying. Total game changer can for summer. Of wine. Um, and then I actually brought a little treat, which is a little baby bottle of a rose what? cider. Little baby rose bottle. Rose cider. Cider is super hot right is now. There beer in it? Really? No. Cider is essentially uh, wine made from apples instead of grapes. Same process, making cider right. as making wine. But it's effervescent, like a it's, lovely cider. It's effervescent and delicious. Lovely. So we will taste that together. I thought we would maybe start with the traditional rosé okay, okay. and kind of go from there. I what you is a rosé? So rosé wine is what everyone is drinking this yeah. spring and obviously for summertime. Um, when they make rosé, they take a red grape, mm -hmm. and when they crush it, they just leave the skins in the mix just for like a little bit. an instant, just to start to tint the wine, and yeah. then they pull the skins out. Uh. So if they had left the skins into that, it would turn onto like a full, a full on red. On red. Um, but that's one reason why rosés are so fantastic, because mm. red and white drinkers alike can get into can it. Can get into it. So this first wine is actually from Brooklyn Winery. Right what about the spark. water? I've been there a few times. Um, mm. Really amazing what yeah. they're doing. They are bringing in fruit from California, making wine at their gorgeous state-of-the-art winery. Yeah. Um, right. That's a good place to go. Here in Brooklyn, yeah. I bought um, a Groupon so to there once. Cheers. Okay, exactly. you. Salud. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is a nice dry rosé. So what is the characteristic of a rosé? that separates it from just the white or the red with that little skin. I think they're skin. very, very refreshing, which is yeah. why we go to them in spring and summertime. Mm -hmm. And the, of course, the color is just beautiful and sunny. Um, this is a very, very pale. It's made from Grenache grapes yes. um, that are grown in California, brought here. Those are the tiny ones, the Grenache grapes? They're little, little, yep. And uh, this is just a fresh and fruity. Mm -hmm. It's light-bodied, super refreshing. Um, I think for an alfresco brunch, this would be the bottle that I would bring. Okay. Oh. To the party. So the reason Sarah is here because she's not like a wine monster, although mm -hmm. she knows how to properly pronounce Samaye, uh -huh. her <laughs> website touts itself as a place where you can go and learn about wines and still have enough money for weekend beach getaways Absolutely. and Beyonce, and Beyonce tickets. tickets. Two the of our favorite things. Life, right? Two of our favorite yeah. things. And not look like an idiot when you order wine as well. Exactly. You know, wine should girl. be fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. And wine shouldn't break the bank. There's amazing wines out there under $20. Um, usually when I shop for wine, I'm yeah. in that price range, you know. I love fancy wine as mm -hmm. much as the next girl. You know, a fabulous Bordeaux is great on a special occasion or champagne, but, you know, doesn't don't have, have to. to every time. Don't have to splurge every time. Sometimes you just want a great bottle for, you know, Thursday night on the couch in front of a scandal. Yes, um, You know, and yeah. you don't want to. You don't want to spend half Olivia your rent. drinks. I drink. <laughs> you know, the best drinking game ever. <laughs> so how cold should you get the rosés then? Because this isn't super cold. Like, should I keep it in the fridge or mm -hmm. on ice or like, what's the best way to say, serve? I um, would keep it as cold as you enjoy drinking it. Okay. Generally, when wines are super ice cold, it's hard to taste all the flavors. the flavors. So if we're doing a wine tasting, you want to keep your bottles, you know, like just 45 to chill. 55 degrees, just yeah. like a little bit um, cooler than room temperature. But um, I love a nice cold rosé also on a hot summer day. So I would say whatever floats your boat in terms of temperature would be absolutely appropriate. Is it de classe to put ice in your wine? Is I say thing? whatever you like. As long as That's it how the French do it. Or is it? That's you know what, what I've heard. Really? I will not turn my nose up at anyone that puts an ice cube in their wine. You know what you can I've been do? Known to. What can you do? Um, you can actually make wine ice cubes, which are awesome. So you could potentially Game changer. My life actually just changed. <laughs> you could potentially pour some rose into an ice cube tray, right. freeze it, and then pop those so it doesn't really dilute in your wine. I also hear about frozen grapes a lot. That I could do. Whoa. Because again, freeze it'll chill it down the wine without, without diluting it and watering it down. So either frozen grapes or even 
wine ice cream. Because heaven forbid you happen. don't finish the bottle, you can just pour it into your yeah, tray. Yeah, and that's and great just... for cooking as well, because how often do you need like a splash of wine for a sauce you don't yeah, want to open a whole a bottle? bottle right. Right. So, so just keep some wine ice cubes in your freezer, and then you can just pop a little bit in uh, that recipe, and you're good to go. Okay, so Sarah, I feel like in general my experience has been that if it's a darker rosé, it's sweeter. Is that always true? Not always true. Okay. Um, darker rosés usually have more intensity of flavor. Okay. So they'll be more full-bodied. Um, this is something you could pair with barbecue, maybe like barbecue ribs, barbecue chicken, even steak. Mm -hmm. um, this Hopefully. is fantastic. It Tempeh. With your tempeh, your barbecue tempeh? Yeah, it's called um, Semper Viren. It's available at Brooklyn Wine Exchange right on Court Street, one of my favorite oh, yeah. wine shops in Brooklyn. And yes, it is... I know them. It's super dry, but mm -hmm. it's very fruity. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like growing up Kool-Aid. I mean that in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, it's juicy. It's... Tons of like bright, fresh strawberry flavors. In I was this. about to say, what am I supposed to be tasting? Because I love to the read the labels. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not a gifted palate. Because I was like, hints of kiwi and this tropical exactly. fruit, and I can never taste any of those things. This has a kind of a punchy kind of fruit quality. Give me a suggestion. Mm -hmm. Let me tell well, me I what think I should that be you tasting need to practice tasting. So right. the best way to be a great taster, Darn. it's the muscle you have this to build like like going to the gym. How so. much, what's the alcohol content in these um, guys? This guy is 12%, mm -hmm. which is pretty moderate. Is it? Um, and the Brooklyn winery is 13.5, so okay. a little more alcohol yeah. in the Brooklyn wine. The Brooklyn wine. brand, Ooh, of That's course. how we do in Brooklyn. We're you know? Brooklyn now, all right. <laughs> you like a little bit of booze in our wine. Uh, are you all ready to have your minds blown? Yeah, let's blown? get into the cutie. Yeah. All right, so this is this is the guy wine in a can. Um, the Union Wine Company in Oregon makes these little guys. They make a red, a white, or a rosé. Um, Oregon has great I wine, mean, right? They're wow. known for their wine. Beautiful. Are they? Yeah, Oregon is a big wine you know, place. Huge wine, up and coming right? wine region. Really being modest I here. only know what I know, and that's the only and thing that's I know. All. I couldn't tell you what But wrong. this, it's portable. You know, yeah. throw it in your beach bag. Yeah. You know, bring it in your picnic basket to the park. Um, and I think that a lot of wineries are actually coming around to things like cans because they are so eco-friendly. Right. Yeah. And it's the um, perfect They make a seal, very right? low impact on the environment. Absolutely. They're light to ship. Um, they don't use a whole lot of material. And, yeah. and we're you not know, killing the cork. We're not killing the cork. And exactly. air and light are like the enemies of wine, right? So it exactly. makes sense that mm -hmm. you could have... The, one of the can. biggest enemies of wine actually is the UV rays. That's why a lot of wine bottles are wow. tinted. It's like sunglasses for your wine. This is yeah. really um, good. This isn't is my it favorite delicious? so far. Yeah. And it came out of a can. I thought I was high class. It's like a little spritzy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little sweeter oh, yeah. than the other wines that we've yeah. tried today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I think that's completely appropriate. Actually, I don't know, day drinking? I think no, this but could be a home not run. <laughs> sweet. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan no. of sweet, and this isn't yeah, offending I mean, there's me. There's definitely a misconception about rosé that a lot of them are super sweet. You think yeah. about, like... And Edna's white zin, right? Um, and they're not, not all. They're not no, all. Yeah. You know. So sweet. there's 12 ounces. Well, how much is this going to set us back in a can? Like so, 12 ounces. Um, this was seven dollars. Yeah. And you know, 12 ounces is a healthy two glass. We got three. Oh yes. Um, Cute pours yeah. out of exactly. that. Exactly. So yes. Um, and so, yeah. And some budget are. friendly. Yeah. And um, do they come in six packs? They come in or individual <laughs> cans. So or do you, you get just, just the one can? Buy however one. many you need to stock your cooler okay. for your okay. barbecue, okay. and uh, okay. you'll be good to go. I remember those Coppola people did the little uh, sparkling. In yeah, the can, little the little cans that were perfect for the movies. Yeah, and they come right. like Indeed. with a little straw. With a straw. It was really Indeed. fun. It was like Capri Sun for grown-ups. Oh, we would bring the boxes when they first started. Came out with the boxes. Yeah, and I love. I love like. You know, there's some wonderful boxed wines coming out, canned wines, um, wines in like milk carton looking contraption. I mean, there's Ooh. anything you can think of in terms of packaging. And, uh, you know, technology is amazing. And everyone wants new innovation yeah. in like, you know, their iPhone and all those kinds of things. But people are very shy about exploring new technology when it comes to wine packaging. For some reason, there's yeah. that romance about mm -hmm. know, the bottle. The bottle. Um, but honestly, for a wine that doesn't need to age for a long time, yeah. just like light and fresh, you can drink it right away. Yeah. Don't really need it out of a bottle. Um, right. You know, can is completely yeah. appropriate. So speaking and of those innovations, besides packaging, mm -hmm. are there any sort of trends in the wine world where maybe changing formulations or times that it takes to vintage or something? I would say that uh, 
climate one change. of the yeah. current trends honestly is kind of going back to the traditional ways really? of making wine um, you know winemakers I would say that you know the grandfather had the traditional way and then his son you know yeah. was using a lot of modern technology and now the grandson who's growing into the wine family going is going back, back. To back. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah I and see I that on so many labels now like we're a traditional family owned going back to the old recipe yes if you can plow your vineyard with a horse and um, you know, yes. use these old, you know, cement vats for fermenting. I mean, a lot of people are going back to those very ancestral ways of yeah. making wine. The best way to crush grapes still is pummeling by foot. With your tipsies. Really? Yes, like they would I always have. Like that famous, I love Lucy. Yes. You know, women and children traditionally would do the treading because, yeah. you know, we have the feet are dirty light, here. delicate feet. <laughs> Not exactly. me. Not but it's me. the most gentle way to actually make wine. It doesn't, uh, you know, damage the, the seeds nice. and, you know, that can make your wine a little bit bitter. bitter. So that would be so a we've great got 60 BK seconds for you to make us happy with this last All right. little cider here. It's a rosé cider. A friend yeah. of mine calls this Hamptons Gatorade. Love it. Um, it is from Wolfer, a right. state out on Long Island. How much is that going to set me back? This is I $5. Oh yeah, Ooh, that's the magic number. That's, that's the movie theater. It's only one. seven percent alcohol, so you can drink a lot of all it all day long. All day, rosé <laughs> cider. All rose, day, rose, all day, all day rosé. So cheers. It smells like cider. Ching ching. Mm, ching ching. Mm. Oh, that's good. Isn't that lovely? It is. It's spritzy. It ain't Boone's Farms, I'll tell you that. It's not much. Boone's Farm. No. Yeah. No. So yeah, Wolf well, First State out of Long Island makes it, and it is um, called and she's 139. Local. It's well, local. Where can I we get this? Love. Drink locally. Um, this is widely available in New York City. This is also I picked it up at Brooklyn Wine Exchange as well. Perfect. Sarah, That's we have a few really seconds good. left. Twenty Tell seconds. Us. A few seconds left. Tell us about you, where we can find you. Um, visit my website. It's called The Lush Life. I'm a lush meaning opulent, sumptuous, pleasurable. Also, someone that likes their wine. Um, so, in that order, <laughs> exactly. Or Instagram, Twitter at the Lush Life NY. I'm available for all of your wine questions and uh, tastings. Perfect. Thank you, Sarah. Great, thanks Thank for you having Sarah. me.